dragonfly how to practice warrior three pose stand on one leg extend the other leg behind you flexing your foot bend your torso forward and take your arms back alongside your body pretend to be a dragonfly flitting around the garden switch sides and repeat the steps Pretend to be a ladybug. How to practice child's pose. Sit on your heels. Slowly bring your forehead down to rest on the floor in front of your knees. Rest your arms down alongside your body and take a few deep breaths. Pretend to be a ladybug resting on a leaf. Pretend to be a snail. How to practice hair pose. Come to sitting on your heels in hero pose. Slowly place your head out in front of you on the ground. Take your hands back alongside your body. Then lift your buttocks, being careful not to put too much pressure on your head. Pretend to be a snail making its home in the dirt. Pretend to be a bee. How to practice hero pose. Come to rest upright on your heels with your palms resting on your knees. Pretend to be a bee collecting pollen from a flower. Pretend to be a butterfly. How to practice cobbler's pose. Sit on your buttocks with a tall spine. Bend your legs, place the soles of your feet together, 
and gently flap your legs like wings. Pretend to be a butterfly fluttering around the vegetable garden. today's breathing break, we're going to learn a B breath. And a B breath is basically where you breathe in, and then as you breathe out, you make a humming or buzzing sound, like a B. There's different ways that you can make that sound. You can go mm, or you can go bzzz. So you can experiment a couple times and see what works well for you. But basically what you do is you breathe in, and then as you breathe out, you go mm, and another really cool thing is if you put your hands over your ears, you'll hear that sound a lot louder. So try going, breathe in, and then as you breathe out, go. So you can try that different ways. Let's try one with a buzz. So we'll breathe in, and as we breathe out, we'll go. like a bee buzzing around the garden. So you can find your own way of doing it. Maybe try doing it three times with three breaths in and three breaths out, and then see how you create your own bee breath. That's our breathing break for today. So our story today for Stretchy Storytime is all about butterflies. It's called a Butterfly is Patient, and it's by Diana Hutz Aston, illustrated by Sylvia Long. And on the first page, it shows tons of really awesome different kinds of caterpillars. A butterfly is patient. It begins as an egg beneath an umbrella of leaves, protected from rain, hidden from creatures that might harm it, until the caterpillar inside chews free from its egg casing, tiny, wingless, and hungry to grow. A butterfly is creative. A caterpillar feeds on leaves, eating so much that it must molt or shed its skin many times. It can grow up to 30,000 times larger than it was when it took its first bite. Once a caterpillar has eaten all that it needs, it creates a protective covering called a chrysalis. Curled inside the chrysalis, it is growing wings. Now it is time for metamorphosis, changing from one form to another. A butterfly is helpful. Butterflies, like bees, help pollinate plants so that they can reproduce or make seeds. As a butterfly flits from flower to flower, sipping nectar, tiny grains of pollen cling to its body, then fall away onto other flowers. Seeds are only produced when pollen is transferred between flowers of the same species. This is called pollination. A butterfly is protective. Butterflies use their wings to protect themselves from predators, such as hungry birds, lizards, and other insects. Some butterflies have markings on their wings called eye spots. Scientists don't know what they are used for, perhaps to scare away predators or attract mates. Wings can help butterflies camouflage or hide themselves in the environment. One kind of butterfly, the peacock butterfly, makes a hissing sound by rubbing its wings together when it is alarmed. A butterfly is poisonous. The warning colors of some butterflies' wings, yellows, reds, oranges, whites, and blacks, tell predators that they are poisonous or bad tasting. Monarchs and pipe vine swallowtails eat poisonous plants as caterpillars so that they become poisonous as adults. Birds and other insects have learned not to eat them. A butterfly is spectacular. And this page shows so many different kinds of butterflies. A butterfly is thirsty. To find flowers, butterflies smell the air with their antennae. They taste with their feet, but sip nectar, the sweet liquid produced by many flowers, with a proboscis, a tongue that coils and uncoils. Some butterflies get their nourishment from rotting fruit, 
like blue morpho butterflies do that, or minerals. Often a kaleidoscope of butterflies gathers as a puddle club in mud near a pond or a lake to drink water, rich in salts and minerals. A butterfly is big. The rare Queen Alexandra's birdwing is the largest butterfly in the world with wings that can span up to one foot or 30.4 centimeters. It lives in the rainforest in northern Papua New Guinea. So a butterfly is big, and a butterfly is also tiny. The smallest is the rarely seen Aryan small blue found in Afghanistan with a wingspan of less than one third of an inch or eight millimeters, about the length of a grain of rice. A butterfly is scaly. A rainbow of shiny powdery scales covers the wings of a butterfly, scales stacked like shingles on a roof. Without scales, its wings would be as transparent as the wings of a bee or a dragonfly. The colors, patterns, and shapes of a butterfly's wings have a purpose. Some use their pattern of colors to attract mates. In places where the climate is cool, dark scales absorb heat from the sun, warming the butterfly's flight muscles. Butterflies are cold-blooded and must have a body temperature of 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius to fly. A butterfly is not a moth. Butterflies and moths belong to the same family of insects, the Lepidoptera, which means scale wing. They are the only insects with scaly wings, but there are differences between them. Moths appeared on Earth between 100 and 190 million years ago, butterflies 40 million years ago, during the Cretaceous period, when flowering plants and the nectar most butterflies need to survive evolved. Nearly every kind of butterfly flies during the day, while most moths fly at night. A moth spins a cocoon made of silk, while a butterfly wraps itself in a chrysalis or exoskeleton made from its skin. A butterfly is a traveler. Most butterflies, such as the red admiral or the common buckeye, migrate a short distance to find a warmer place. But some, like the monarch, travel far. Although monarchs weigh only as much as a few rose petals, they can fly almost 3,000 miles, or 4,828 kilometers, from Canada to their winter home in Mexico, at a rate of 20 miles, or 30 kilometers per hour. Glider pilots have reported seeing monarchs flying at an altitude of 11,000 feet, or 3,352.8 meters, higher than some clouds. A butterfly is magical. Monarchs gather in huge numbers in the forests of central Mexico, waiting for spring. Then they fly north to the milkweed plants in North America, where they lay their eggs. Now it is time again for their metamorphosis. A butterfly is patient. The egg hatches, the caterpillar emerges, feasting on leaves before it wraps itself into its warm, protective chrysalis, patiently waiting to soar. And that's the end. And at the end, there's another really beautiful spread of all different kinds of butterflies for you to explore and learn the names of. So that's the end of A Butterfly is Patient. Thank you for reading with me today.